Hi there, I am Camille from CamillesPrimeIdeas.com and Sherry from Come Follow Me Music asked me to contribute to her music in the home series. So this is kind of what I've come up with. Um, she kind of asked me to just talk to you a little bit about what my family has done to have music in the home, especially during um, quarantining and COVID and all that fun stuff this last year. So I just kind of wanted to show you what I have. Um, if you follow my website at all, you, none of this will be new. Like I, This is just my tried and true, what I know, it's just what I do. So um, I have this music bag and I have used this for years at home, in singing time, nursery, you name it. I've loved it. So I've turned it into a product that I sell on my website, but I also have a way that you can create your own. Um, the only reason I sell it is because I love it so much. And I've been doing this with my kids. My, I have twins that are almost 14. I've been doing it with them, this music bag, since they were in nursery. Um, what was that? Three years, 14, 11 years ago. Quick math. <laughs> Um, I have my youngest, he is three, and we still use this almost every Sunday we pull it out. We may not do the whole bag, but um, we do bits and pieces of it every Sunday at home. It's kind of our preface to our family home evening. So I just wanted to share with you what's in the bag. Um, I have a list of songs. This is my song list, if you can see that. Um, and it just, my songs go from songs with actions to songs with props. So the first one is I Love to See the Temple, and that includes temple pictures. And I have these temple pictures that kids can just hold. My kids all have a favorite color. So I made like all the temples have a color kind of around the border. The Susan Fitch did the artwork for these for me, and I just, I love it. I love her and I love the temple. So this is really fun. So we sing, I love to see the temple and everybody holds a temple picture. Easy. It's a great way to reinforce gospel principles with a visual and a song. So that's the first one. The next one is Book Mormon Stories, Actions. So I always intersperse prop with actions. It just makes it easier because then we take the prop and then we sing and then I can give out the next prop rather than taking and receiving. It's, it's chaotic. The next one on my list is, um, I hope they call me on a mission, and I just have these simple, if you can see, missionary tags I created. They just pin on with the clothespin, easy, and we usually march around the room, and if we don't have room, then we'll just march in place, walking like a missionary. It's fun. Again, we're reinforcing gospel principles in a fun way. The next one is, once there was a snowman, I mean, actions, easy. Kids love that. And then we do like to sing Once I Was a Baby, and we can kind of do the song backwards. Again, there's more details on my website if you really want details on what we're doing. Um, follow the Prophet. Okay, another one of my favorite. Another, Susan Fitch. So she has these Follow the Prophet pictures, and I created them. I put them into, I don't know what you call it, Follow the Prophet sticks. And... Um, there's just all the verses of the prophets, including a few additional in the Lost Hymns Project. There's 13 in all. My kids will sing this song for the whole, all the verses. Usually we skip the chorus because it gets really lengthy. But, I mean, we're singing Follow the Prophet know, 13 times. I mean, and then we all march around. We always have whoever's holding that prophet gets to be the leader, and they choose the funny <laughs> actions or movements. Anyway, it's, this is really fun. This one is a huge hit in my house. Um, so that's Follow the Prophet. Next one, Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. Again, just anything that gets kids wiggling and, act, and get movement. The next one is Jesus Wants Me for a Sunbeam. And I just have these little sunbeam balls, sunshine balls. And they just can hold them. And usually every time we say sunbeam, we raise them up. Jesus wants me for a sunbeam. Fun, they're soft, they're squishy. Anyway, just something fun to hold that kind of reinforces the words of the song. Um, and they're perfect for little hands. Daddy's homecoming. You can always change it to mommy, daddy, whatever. And with the actions, that's a fun one. Gifts of the little stream. Okay, wands. These are one of my favorite props in singing time, but home, they're the best too. So, um, Gibbs said the little stream, it just looks like water and we just kind of move. 
gifts of the little stream. We either will sometimes we'll do a waterfall or we'll stir like we're in the lake. I don't know. It's just be creative. But these are these are also a huge hit. Um, popcorn popping again. More actions. Do as I'm doing. Okay, so egg shakers. And I like this one because the song with the eggs, because we just kind of shake, you know, do as I'm doing, and it's a really rhythmic song. And I can do it high or low or fast or slow. Anyway, super simple but super fun. Kids in nursery love this. I, my older kids will even, who are older in primary, they'll still do all these with my younger son. So it's we all have a good time doing it. Sorry, um, and then my hands, just another action one. And then the bells, wrist bells, I should say. So I call them jingle bells, just to differentiate from hand bells, which I use those too, but I'm not talking about that today. Anyway, so this is, we put these on and we sing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So since they're on our wrists, we clap. And we'll stomp our feet. We'll even um, put them around our ankles, stomp our feet. I mean, there's just really wave your arms, tons of things. It's just adds a fun dynamic to the song. And then we always end with I'm a child of God. And we just end on a reverent note. And usually we have the kids hold their arms. And that kind of leads into our lesson for family evening, usually. Um, and then if, if we're in nursery or primary, we fold our arms and that gets the kids ready for their next activity. Anyway, it's, it's really simple, but super effective. I love having the list and we do them in the same order, especially in nursery and in primary. But at home, we tend to like let the kids, you know, pick whatever they want. Or if we're running low on time, we'll pick a few. But it always, I just love how it always gets us singing a few primary songs. And I, I play the piano, I'm not great, but I do accompany, but if you don't have the piano, you can always play along on your phone, um, CD, whatever, do the sing-along videos. There's so many options. There's no reason why you can't be singing at home. So this is, if you don't have one for your house, I would highly recommend you getting some form of a music bag and it'll just really make implementing music in your home that much easier. Um, so on my website, I have instructions. You can create your own. You can purchase one of these of mine. Just whatever you do, I would just get one. You won't regret it. And then another thing I wanted to briefly touch on is just what our primary, what I've implemented for singing time with our primary this few, probably six months now with COVID. I have decided for me personally, I sent out a an email that usually has a sing-along video and then some sort of like worksheet or activity that goes along with the sing-along video. Um, it's super simple. Families can implement it on their own time if they want. They're not stuck, you know, being committed to a, a live video or for my, for me at my house, I have so many classes that we all have to attend that it's stressful to try and get everybody in the right class at the right time, including myself. So I've opted to just do an email that my primary president sends out for me to all the primary families and just with a sing-along video and a little activity. So like yesterday, um, St. Patrick's Day this week, so yesterday I just sent out um, a couple videos that, to review for hopefully that they'll be on our program this year. And then kids could create little leprechaun finger puppets. I should have brought it out. Um, so they could just dance along with each of the dance with their fingers, dance along to each of the songs as they listened. So it's just simple things like that to hopefully get the kids playing with the, the music. And that's kind of been my theme is to try and get kids to play with the songs. The more they play with them, the more they learn them, the more they'll understand them. And then they'll be able to use them in times of need or um, when they're, you know, come to certain points in their lives where they're maybe needing some spiritual or uplifting help. So anyway, that's my two cents. I, I, I'm not a professional musician by any means, but just I spend lots of time with kids and lots of time and singing time with, with music. So anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you got some inspiration from this. Thanks.